Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be your love reading for the month of February. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, or rising, this reading is for you. Taurus, let's see what we have. Of course, we have cards falling out here. Okay. Wow. Okay. Taurus. We have believe in yourself. Unleash, unleash your inner unicorn. So, Taurus. I'm feeling like you're unique. You're your own person. Um, I feel like there's no one like you. And I feel like if this is a person coming through, they kind of see that there's nobody like you. Um, there's no one who has your qualities. No one who has your know-how. There's no one who loves as strong as you do. You know, I feel like... I feel like you're the unicorn. You're this person that the person that's coming forward for you is waiting for. Um, very interesting. Okay, Taurus, we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Exactly. Exactly what I'm feeling. I feel like you are... You're this person who knows how to get exactly what you want and I feel like you don't let down until that is actually in your life I mean you don't back down from a situation Taurus you you don't give up and we have peace I am a being of love and I release all negative energy so I definitely feel like there may have been conflicts for you in the near past. But I feel like you're gaining pace on the situation. You're gaining uh, tranquility. Things are calming down. Things are running more smoothly um, in your situation. And I believe you feel a need to surrender. I can release my need to control. And I feel like that's kind of what you're doing. You're releasing the need con to control every aspect of your life. You're like letting the divine lead you. If that makes sense, Taurus. Let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what tarot has to say. For Taurus and love. For the month of February. What's coming forward for Taurus? Spirit, give me a message for Taurus. Okay, I'm feeling this one. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. So I definitely feel like there's something that you're kind of blocking yourself from. There's something in your life that's making you want to slow down and kind of take notice. I feel like there's many opportunities that are available for you. You may have offers coming in. I feel like you're weighing your options and you're like holding yourself back. You're having self-control of the situation. Um, how many offers do you have, Taurus? Okay, we have the Page of Swords. So I believe you're kind of living your truth, Taurus. You're speaking your truth. You're living your truth. You're, you're like standing behind your values. Your beliefs. We have the emperor. So I feel like this is energy that's coming forward for you. This is energy that's manifesting. That's... Um, kind of taking control of the situation. The emperor is also a very good provider. So I feel like 
someone is coming in to provide for you. Um, this is male energy, um, but I feel like this is energy that is, you know, the the emperor, they can be kind of controlling. They can be a little authoritative. Um, but I feel like this is someone coming through for you. I'm really seeing someone in a uniform. Someone who possesses the qualities of being very disciplined. Um, maybe military, maybe law enforcement. But I feel like the person that's coming forward is very disciplined. And I feel like you're kind of holding yourself back from the situation because of kind of the the way this person kind of portrays himself. I feel like this person kind of portrays himself as kind of hard, kind of stern or authoritative. But I feel like this person is also very solid. They're very stable. They're making an offer to you to increase your stability to bring some of some kind of value into your life this is also a very patient person and they're also very reliable um i feel like this person is actually kind of caught up in their beliefs in a way because I feel like they're they're yeah definitely we have the king of swords I, I feel like this person has very strong beliefs they kind of stand behind their beliefs in a way that they're kind of holding themselves back they're having a lot of self-control you know this person may want to wait until they get married they may want they may have certain beliefs that they they're actually going by and i feel like that's kind of putting you in this place of oh wow do i take this offer or do i do i kind of run from this person <laughs> you know do i weigh my options do i have other opportunities on the table um i feel like you're kind of Kind of taking notice of this person because I feel like this person is very attractive to you. I feel like they're very smart and intelligent. They may also um, be very grounded and have a good investment mind. You know, they they may be someone who is like high on the totem pole. You know what I mean? They may be some kind of executive, some kind of law enforcement, some kind of military. They may be kind of high on, in ranking. Um, and I feel like that makes you a little nervous. But we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you're going to have some kind of... We have the Ace of Swords right underneath the Page of Swords. So I feel like you're kind of talking this out. You're communicating either with somebody or within yourself but I feel like you're kind of talking the situation out and I feel like you're coming to the realization on whether you want to be with this person or not whether you want to pursue this relationship and I feel like it's bringing some kind of value to the table I feel like you are really finding a lot of interest with this person with this emperor energy the four of pentacles it can be desire or the knowledge that you have long-term security you know the pentacles is also security it's also being very solid very stable um so I feel like you're definitely weighing your options. You're really trying to think this situation through. Definitely. Because you have the hangman energy. You're definitely deep in thought about this situation. I feel like whoever this is coming forward. I feel like they have you really thinking things out. Like 
I'm really interested in this person. This person is really interested in me. What the heck do I do? You know, and I feel like you're you're kind of going within yourself to ask yourself these questions. You're looking for answers in this situation. Hmm. Give me some more messages, Spirit. Give me some more messages about this situation. The judgment. Beautiful. The judgment energy. You're moving from those old beliefs. You're moving away from some kind of belief system that you that that's kind of holding you back, that's keeping you in one place. This is your energy kind of being reborn in a sense that you're moving from one thought process and rebuilding that into a totally different thought process. This is a breakthrough. This is a renewed feeling of hope, of love. Inspired action. So I feel like hmm, the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> you feel like it's worth taking a chance on this person. You feel like you can build something very solid with them. Like you can build a future. The Judgment card is also kind of being reborn. You know, you're coming into this new energy, this new belief system, moving into a totally different direction, having a breakthrough. And I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you're, you're feeling like it's worth your effort. You're worth moving into this change. I also feel like with this Seven of Pentacles, you're kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're waiting for this person to do something wrong, something that you don't really agree with. But you have the star energy. So I feel like this person is going to surprise you. You're definitely going to be surprised with the outcome because with the star energy, this is this is a new beginning. This is new hope, new um, new faith in the situation. This is also wishing upon a star or becoming a spotlight, you know. And I feel like, now look at all these major arcana here. Wow, we have the emperor. We have the um, hangman, the judgment, the star. We have the magician. So I feel like this situation is, that is being created. It's totally something new. It, I, I feel like it's something that's brand new to you. Um, dealing with a person like this. I feel like this person is like no other that you ever met. That's the reason why we got the unicorn in the beginning. This person is your unicorn. And I feel like this person sees you the same way. They see you as their unicorn. As some someone totally different. Than they expected. Um, hmm. But this is this is something that's being created. It's having movement. It's bringing change. I feel like this is a turning point for you. Your the wheel is turning in your direction. You know this is for forward movement. So I feel like. With this emperor energy, I feel like you're moving towards this person. You're not moving away from them. So I feel like you're you're choosing them as your option. <clears throat> you're making this the decision that that this is the right choice for you. That this is something that you can build on and watch grow. I feel like this is big changes. This is becoming more stable, more grounded. Um, yeah, 
we have the two of swords I definitely feel like this is you making the choice to wish upon your star, to gain your stability, you know, to follow this change to its ne next destination. You're making a choice. We have the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is a very heavy choice. I feel like change for you doesn't come easily. I feel like you really don't like change. Um, you don't like things to change. You like things to stay the same, to stay stable, to, you know, stay in your comfort zone. But I feel like with this Ten of Wands energy, I feel like this change is taking you totally out of your comfort zone. It's pushing you into a totally new direction. And I feel like this direction is a total breakthrough for you. It's pushing past your limits. Look at this. We have the Two of Cups. So I definitely feel like this is, this is a union that's happening with you. <clears throat> this is love that's blossoming. Blossoming. This is love that's growing, evolving, changing into this more long-term event, you know? I feel like this is you going on the next level with this Emperor energy. Wow, okay. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Page of Pentacles. So definitely... That this person is bringing you into this new stability. It's bringing you into a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance. You're feeling very stable, very grounded. You feel like this is a solid new beginning. Uh, the pages are the beginning of something um, that's very valuable, very reliable. Something that's very supported. Um, we also have the page of wands at the bottom. So I feel like... You know, this person is bringing you this page of wands, which is filled with passion and excitement. And <clears throat> I feel like even though you're kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop, you're waiting for this person to do something that you don't agree with or you're, you're looking for this person to make a mistake. And I feel like this person is bringing you so much excitement, so much joy, so much Ten of Pentacles energy. I feel like... <laughs> They're, they're bringing you happiness and stability. They're building on to something that's going to be very, very beautiful. You know, very long term, very stable. So, although this ain't this exciting love story, this, this is actually very beautiful. This is actually very beautiful, Taurus. Because this person is bringing you a wealth of love. You know, they're bringing you this abundance, this stability. They're, they're someone who you can totally rely on. Someone who's going to be, be very supportive. Okay, let's get a love card for you. <clears throat> for you, we have close your eyes and tell yourself you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And I feel like you've been waiting for a while for this joy to come. You know, I feel like you've been actively looking. Maybe you've been dating other people and you've been kind of let down in the situation. But I feel like that this person is real. This person is bringing in a lot of stability. I feel like you kind of depending on this person is making you kind of fearful. That's the reason why we have this Eight of Swords energy. You feel like you feel like it can't be real. But I feel like this person is going to surprise you in a very good way. Okay, for the person we have romance 
Cupid's arrow strikes. So I feel like this person is very attracted to you. They're looking for romance. And I feel like this person, with their beliefs, they're going to be very traditional. This person may offer you gifts, may offer you um, something that's going to kind of wow you, you know. Uh, they may bring you flowers or candy or something like that. For you, we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So I, I really believe that this could be your soulmate. I really believe that this is someone who's very intentional. Someone who's very solid, very grounded. I feel like this is someone who's kind of built on this rock. You know, I feel like they are going to be your rock, if that makes any sense. Okay, for them we have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So I definitely feel like they're going to be giving you something. They're going to be showing you how much they care about you in some kind of way. Uh, it may be little, it may be huge, but I feel like they're, they're offering you some kind of gift. And I feel like you're going to be very surprised by whatever it is that they're offering. Because you're their unicorn, Taurus. They're like trying to wow you. For you, we have passion. Insane chemistry like each other equally and having fun okay spirit give me more message for Taurus what do we have for them we have photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories so I feel like this person is very attracted to you they can't stop looking at you you know they can't stop viewing you so they may take a look at your photos they may look at you on social media they may follow you um, on social media to see how you're doing this may be someone that you don't have active contact with all the time uh, so I feel like when they're not in the room with you I feel like they miss you a lot they miss you a great deal at the bottom we have I like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting wanting to date so definitely I feel like this is blossoming into something very beautiful let's get more messages for Taurus I'm gonna take another deck and we're gonna have another look get some clarity on the situation tell me more about this person tell me more about this for Taurus please for the month of February Tell me more about this love interest. We have the Ten of Wands again. Now, with this Ten of Wands, look, he's laying down his burdens. He's no longer burdened with that large stack of wands. He's now laid down his burdens. He's letting all that go. So I feel like, you know, whatever reservations that you have, you're slowly letting those reservations go. You're slowly letting down those swords that are confining you with this Eight of Swords. You're slowly um, letting that energy dissolve. We have the Seven of Swords. So I definitely feel like this person, I feel like you're taking something away that is kind of changing your mind about this person. This could also be some kind of person around you who's being very sneaky. Who's being a little conniving. Someone's trying to... You know what? I, I feel like with this Seven of Swords energy, there's actually someone... And they actually try to claim that they're a friend of yours. But I feel like they're actually going behind your back and talking to this person about you. Telling them about you that... 
to see if they can change their mind about you. They're trying to spread rumors. So I think you should be very careful for this person who claims to be a friend because I feel like they're going behind your back trying to throw a monkey wrench in this situation for you. They're trying to talk to your person and they're talking about you. Give me more messages for Taurus. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. So I feel like with this Knight of Wands energy, your Emperor is not taking what your person has to say at face value. Your person, the Emperor, he feels what he feels. And I feel, I feel like he's growing in his passion. You know, he's moving forward. He's not paying attention to what, you know, this Seven of Swords is saying. He, he wants what he wants. You know, he views you as a unicorn. So I feel like he's, he's like pursuing that energy. He's running with his passion. He's being assertive. Hmm. And we have the chariot. So I definitely feel like you're moving into the situation. You could also be traveling to see this person or they could be traveling to see you. Um, but I feel like this is forward movement for you. You're moving forward. We have the page of pentacles. Yeah, we have the page of pentacles twice. So I really feel like this is going to bring a lot of stability. This is this is new love. The page of pentacles is at the beginning of the journey. Um I feel like this is also good news. Good news is coming to you. I feel like it's news that you're not expecting, but good news is coming. This is also Starting to feel more stable. Starting to feel more supported. You're finding value in this situation. This situation is just beginning, but you find it valuable. You know? And you have the strength. Definitely. So, you're very strong. Even if you don't realize it, Taurus. I feel like you, you have all the strength here. You have all the knowledge. Um, this is also you caring and loving yourself enough to make the right decisions. I feel like you're showing yourself a lot of patience. You're showing yourself a lot of love in the situation. And I feel like it's moving you forward into this energy of this emperor. This emperor wants a new start with you. Um, I don't feel like this is someone coming in from the past. I feel like this is new energy. This is someone that maybe you haven't met yet that's coming into your life. But I feel like this emperor, they're going to change your perspective about a lot of different things. And I feel like you're going to be moving forward to this in a very strong position. Because I feel like some kind of good news is that this emperor is bringing you is bringing a lot of passion, a lot of emotion. It's like sparking this fire that <laughs> is going to bring a lot of excitement. A lot of new journeys. The Knight of Wands, he can also be adventure. You know, so it may be a new adventure that this person takes you on. You may be traveling with this person or seeing new things. But I feel like it's taking you out of your comfort zone. It's moving you in a brand new direction. Okay, Virgo. No, okay, Taurus. I just finished the Virgo reading, so I'm like still caught up in this situation. This may be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Maybe a Leo. Um, uh, maybe an Earth sign like you. But, Taurus, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And Taurus... 
Until your next reading, many blessings, love and light.